my name's Robert Wood. I'm going to read some poems today from my new collection, Red Gate. It's just come out from Red River in New Delhi. We're carrots. We're carrots and cabbages and ships hauled over sand and sound, but they remarked that the colour was always green, somehow, and the mushrooms were never found. Where the twilight was molasses because we lost our matches. That was where they came to. That was where the stockmen rescued, and we knew somehow that their bones and wings would be laid there when all the world found out. They wore. They wore death masks with spleen to the eyes, and when the waves came, they came. They said the white horses like fat from inside, the stones emerging with blood hearts and veins that enables and nails. We watched the folding of granite, saw it kneaded with rage, saw it become hot stones to fill stomachs, the smoke rising as they cooked a whole day. They ate. They ate boxes, became square-bellied, engraved from inside by the trade routes of a continent, exchanging gifts, forgetting riches, across the aridness of flat packs instead. All we offered was song. We covered. We covered them in kidney fat, greased them up to swim across the gates of hell and back. They returned with cinnamon chests and we placed tea before them to hear of the wave and the thunder before the cold tide rushed in. We listened. We listened till the hollow praise of administrators took soup from their hands, mud from their ears, the hundred joints, the million nails and the uncounted organs of our forms fixing their way to the granted security of apple seeds. We watched. Where the singers feasted on way, there was an illusion of time in the warp and weft of their cloth and the pots of clay, abundant with whiteness, swayed like cotton in the wind. We watched and sighed. Free, in the acres of delirium, we wrapped ourselves in the skin of bean curd, free from old suffering, free from eternal night, free from wisecracks, free from cheaters and leviathans like rocks. And the last poem I read, which is the last poem in the book, it's called Before Us the Craze. As the craze marched away from the white water to the maze and back again, to the reef and its caves, to the secret traps we lay, we swam and slept and the hearts and lungs of the giants before us in the woods where the shells of our belonging was made.